It sounds like the UK countryside is going silent. When I was growing up in the 70s, I was out in the countryside listening to an orchestra of birds. And I only really realised a couple of years ago that that has changed hugely. People blame farms for biodiversity loss, but only 4% of farms do any sort of monitoring at the moment. And that's not consistent and not comparable with each other. So it's very, very difficult to put a finger on where is the problem and where is the solution. This is the Chirrut Box, sometimes called the Robot Ecologist. We put it out into the wild to go find out how many birds there are on farms. Farmers get the benefit of that. They can compare themselves with each other and they can know what their baseline is and where they need to go to farm ecologically. Uh, we designed it to be small, cost-effective and easy for a farmer to install in a tree or on a post at the edge of a field. Each one of the boxes is on for three weeks and during that time it gives us a snapshot and a baseline of the diversity of the farm. So Conrad, for you, and this is the case with a lot of sustainable tech um, entrepreneurs, it was a difficult thing to find funding. Yeah, how did you overcome that? The funding in some ways is very available, but we need help to put together a proposal. When you're a small team, you're busy doing the marketing and the sales, and you just don't have time to do all of the detailed work that's required for a grant. By far and away, one of the biggest values of working with you guys, that we can have our vision, we can have our prototypes, we can do things at small scale, but if you're able to help us get that initial tranche of substantial funding to take it from prototype to something scalable, uh, that means that we can get on with doing the business and building the business. Hello. How are you? Nice Good to see you. Hey. Should we go and have a look at the map? Yeah. Show what we're doing. So we're based here. This is some of the land that we farm. All the different colours, the different habitats we put across our farm landscape. The benefit of having recording, we can identify where we put those habitats for the different species we have. Having habitat in the right places, working with those animals, we're seeing up to net 18 cent yield benefit by trials we worked on the farm. So that's really important to understand what species we have, where the habitat is, and how that can underpin my farming business. So we chose this site here because it's a great location between hedgerow, uh, one sort of habitat, and your permanent pasture here, which is a different sort of habitat. Yeah, no, we found it really useful because so we've got the hedgerow, we've got a bird seed mix, we've got a pond where there's water resource. So it's kind of in a central of a mixed habitat, so it should give us a really good result of, of a range of species that are in this area. Yeah. And how do you find being a part of the ecosystem? Do you think that's useful for you? At one level, it's just fantastic to turn up in that space and be surrounded by people who are all on similar missions to you. At the same time, you've got people with technical skills and as a small team, you're always looking for people you might want to draw in for either you know tech skills, accounting, marketing. And at the same time, you've got in the SV team, uh, design services, you've got R&D tax credits, lots of things that we can really use when we're small and, and focused team. Yeah, it's great to have you on board. It's good to be on board. 2023 and 2024, we were using this, the Mark II box, which requires my team to distribute and collect them across the UK. With the support of SB, we have attracted funding that will enable us to produce the next version of this, which we can mail out to farms and go from hundreds to thousands of farms, scaling up so that everybody gets the chance to baseline their biodiversity. 